Welcome to the CAT Studio. I'm Sheila McKenna and today I'll be showing you how to remove a broken nozzle from the tip of your airbrush. But before I do that, I'd like to talk to you about this very unique and slightly complicated tool. Before you purchase one of these, I suggest that you get some professional training. It's really important for you to know which products you should and shouldn't use in an airbrush, how to properly clean it, and how to take it apart and put it back together again. So please don't purchase an airbrush until you really know how to use one. Now you can see this is a gravity fed airbrush, which means that when you're holding it straight up and down, it points downward. Product goes in the bowl and gravity forces it forward. If you find yourself airbrushing in an upward position, the product can flow backwards and pull up underneath the lever and that would inhibit the flow of the makeup coming out. You'll have to take it apart and clean underneath that lever. So in order to take it apart, you need to start with your handle. Loosen the chuck nut, pull the needle out, tighten the chuck nut so you don't lose this piece, remove the needle cap, and remove the nozzle cap. This exposes the nozzle and you'll need to remove that in order to thoroughly clean the airbrush. And in order to remove it properly, you need to use the little wrench that came with your airbrush and find the flat side of the nozzle. And when you do find that flat side, with the airbrush pointing towards you, turn the nozzle counterclockwise. That will loosen it. If you turn it clockwise, you run the risk of breaking the nozzle off and then the threads will be stuck inside. So let's get started with that video. As you can see, the nozzle on the left is missing the threads. The nozzle on the right is a complete piece. Those threads have broken off on the inside of the airbrush and they're stuck on the tip. So you can go to your local drugstore and buy an eyeglass repair kit that contains a very small flat-headed screwdriver. You'll need a tool like this in order to press it inside the tip of the airbrush and try to encourage those threads out. So you take the corner of the screwdriver and firmly press against those threads and turn them counterclockwise. And repeat this until they start to loosen. You'll need some patience. It takes a little bit of effort. Press firmly and keep turning counterclockwise. Once that piece has fallen out, you're ready to replace it with your new nozzle. You'll need to turn this piece clockwise in order to tighten it. Use the wrench that you received with your airbrush and find the flat side of the nozzle and spin it clockwise. If you want to remove it, remember, find the flat side of the nozzle and turn it counterclockwise. That will loosen the nozzle. But in this case, we're replacing it, so you want to tighten it back up and turn it until it stops. Don't overturn too tightly or you'll run the risk of snapping off the tip again. Now that you have that in place, it's time to put the needle back in. Push that forward until it stops and you'll see the needle come out of the tip of the nozzle. Once you have that in place, tighten your chuck nut Tighten the nozzle cap and the needle cap. Put on your handle and you're ready to start airbrushing. 